Hello, hello. Welcome everybody to the channel. My boys almost having a great day. We're back in Grand Theft Auto 5. My last wet Trevor super weapon, but then works out so well because uh, the government and everybody would have had a target on us to kill us because of the, the super weapon we stole. So we left it alone. We let our friend take care of it and get rid of it. And then we did an armored heist, which um, was hard, but we got out of it. We got the money. So we're on our next uh, next challenge here. What's going on next? Let's find out. Let's find out together, guys. Thank you for all for watching. Until the next time, take care. Remember, I'm a bad person. Get a life. Ask. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in, but the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion, two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael, Devin Weston, did he... does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is gonna kill me. All right, so what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. All right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs>
Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. As long as you're getting a paycheck every week, keep at it. If he tries to pay monthly or asks for credit, then you get out. He tried to pay me with an extra.
What are you? Mr. Richards has been worried sick. You get lost, Wrinkles? Who's this jackass? Hey, you! Oh, turns out these guys are in love with their contract. So they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No! This guy's all mine! <laughs> Strangely excited. It's not strange at all, actually. All right, spray tan. We're gonna make a new deal. You leave my people alone, and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay, sure, man, sure. All right. Let's get back to the lot. I don't know who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. All right. 
I know Solomon is anxious to see you. Look, I'm feeling a little keyed up. How about I call my guy, go on a little jolly, and call Solomon from wherever I wake up in, in a week? How about you see him right now, and we go flying again if you even look like you'll fail a piss test at any point on this shoot? Whatever. Wonderful surprise. Anton, my boy, you're an artist, I know that. And this story is the best kind of art, a simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip, I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. What's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey. You two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. 
Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Seven millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, two How about like? we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, we're coming up now, man. Be there in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They ain't gonna stop with us back here. We gotta get right up behind them. This one's on the wrong side of the road. I'll stay on him. Now come if you can handle it. Eventually. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Hey man, you know how hard it was to try slow enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real race. Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the car. Oh, you screwed up my car! Ah, I stacked it! Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool! Hey, Frank. Yeah. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars, 
<laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what, right before I met you, I was pushing rise and racing. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, oh, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'll be at anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! The only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? Hey, look, Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. It don't sound that different, to be honest. Now, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. I'm just biding my time. What's your angle, Mike? What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just a some other thing with this guy and you, <laughs> you know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional. Damn! She's a professional woman who's doing a job, and leave it at that. No sexual harassment in the workplace, T. Not on my watch. I'm serious. Both of you. Good to see you taking this seriously, Frank. Good management. If I'm finna do this, I'm finna do it right. So, uh, how your car, Mike? <laughs> My car is fine. Yeah, I hope so, cause I'm in charge of this shit, and I will dock your pay. The stains on the seats were here when I got in. Oh, come on, T, man, please. Gentlemen, I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
I've been smoking too much weed time for me to get this shit a break. For real? Tanya, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gonna vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. So where you parked? Either you got one, or we get one. That's where we at. Look at that fool What's over up? there. You fucking idiot. Yo, I'm gonna call you this weekend. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shot. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. Bitch. Fight yeah, me! Where can we pick that up? Me, Jet Cox. What you got? 10-4. We got an SUV and a handicapped spot without a sticker. It's a lucky plucker and little soul. Do you copy? You know I don't copy. I'm an original. <laughs> yeah, we got you. JB still sick. Man, you sure you need me? Because you look like you know what you doing. One, I can't drive. And two, this ain't no work for a lady. Oh, you really fighting the feminist cause there, ain't you, Tanya? Like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never seen my nails. <laughs> what, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math on the corner in Davis.
We're on, boo. Let's move it out. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer cars. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet? Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crack? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. A new owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. Jesus!
drop it in the marked area. Same as before, honey. You sure you ain't been smoking? to you, Franklin. You know I will. See you round. See me driving here? Minority 
Not our guy! I got you, you creep! It's a free country! I know my rights! That lady ain't our guy!
clearly. Hey, can y'all still see me? I'm in the middle of the garage, man, right here. I've got you. Hey, you reading other heat signatures on this level? might be worth something, but it ain't. Cause he ain't got no... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, good. Suspect down! Fine work, ground unit! Mr. Clinton. Hey, Molly, right? I got that car for y'all. The Z-Type? Mr. Weston will be glad you caught us. He wanted to see it before we took off. We're on the way to his personal hangar at Los Santos International. I'll tell them to expect you at the gate. All right. Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. Oh, there. 
there she is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this? Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those, uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, 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 don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Eh, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! 